Blast from Fusion and in this installment of Tech Tips we're going to be looking at Fusion's marine Bluetooth modules. Fusion have two models available, the MSBT100 and the MSBT200. With Bluetooth becoming more and more common now on mobile phones and media players, this module will allow you to stream your audio from supported or compatible devices to your Fusion stereo. So let's have a look at the MSBT100 first. So the MSBT100 can connect to any Fusion stereo via the rear auxiliary input. Now it will require a 12 volt positive and a ground wire connection to make it operable. The BT100 supports the A2DP Bluetooth profile which means you control the device and the audio from your phone or media player. So the MSBT100 is Bluetooth streaming made simple. Moving on to the MSBT200 Fusion's advanced Bluetooth module. Now this is a little bit different. This is only compatible with the 700 and the 205 series and is connected via the satellite radio connector on the rear of the unit. Now this module is a simple plug and play unit. The MSBT200 supports the A2DP profile but it also supports the AVRCP which gives you display of artist and album information on your Fusion Stereo. So the main feature that AVRCP gives you is you can now pause, play or skip tracks on the Fusion Stereo as well as from your mobile device. So the first thing to do is pair the device to your Fusion Stereo. Simply select Menu and select Discoverable. Then do a search on your device and it will either come up with Fusion 700 series or if you've changed the device name on the unit that's what it will display. So once you're paired with the device every time you get on the vessel and go into Bluetooth Source it will auto connect and this also allows you to store up to eight paired devices on the head unit. So if you need more room on your device list because you have so many people on your boat simply go to the menu, go to remove device and select a device to be removed. If you're in the USA tuna region you're going to have to make a couple of extra changes in your settings menu. So select menu, go to settings, then sources and accessories and select Bluetooth. So in all other tuna region settings the Bluetooth is the default source you're ready to go. Now both the modules have a 10 meter range but they do rely on a line of sight so to get the optimum performance you need to mount the module somewhere where it gets a good clear line to the device you're using. Now there's two mounting options there's the red self adhesive tape on the back or the simple screw mount. Now another good feature on both of these modules is they're rated to IP65 which is the ingress protection against water as well as that, they have a voltage spike protection circuit. Now this stops the unit being damaged by any large voltage spikes, which can be common on some vessels. One other thing is you need to ensure that your head unit supports the software version that is compatible with the Bluetooth modules. Anything from version 1.0.3255 onwards is compatible. And if you're unsure about that, you can always have a look at one of my earlier tech tip videos which goes through software updates. So now you're ready to stream your audio and get the party started. So thanks for watching this installment of Fusion Tech Tips and keep your eye out for the next one.